What's up, YouTubers? Todd Shefflin here, uh, back with another video for you to help with uh, creative ideas and tips to make you the better musician that you want to be. So today I'm going to talk about something I get asked about all the time, which is how do I play fast, how do I get my finger technique up, and how do I get more control physically over the instrument. So this, is, uh, this can be done through practice and having good exercises to work on. So I want to show you a couple exercises and also some things to think about while you're doing them. Okay, so here we go. So the first exercise is uh, for fingers and speeding up technique is actually to practice really slow. And here's the exercise. So we're going to use chromatic, a chromatic scale basically. Um, the first exercise is we're going to finger G on the alto saxophone, so concert B flat, one, two, three, or C on the tenor and we're going to play up to uh, concert D, which is B on the alto saxophone, uh, chromatically, and then we're going to come back down as such. <laughs> So do everything the same, but do it up a half step. And now remember to use your alternate fingerings when using the chromatic scale. So for instance, on the alto, when we do the one we just did and we're going from B to C, instead of going going to go, uh, we're going to use the, uh, the side key, the middle side key to go from B to C. So instead of it's a little more, at, it's a little out of tune, a little more, but when you're playing fast, it's essential to know your alternate fingerings. So then do it up another half step. so on and so on and so forth and you're gonna do this every single day for every day I mean for the rest of your musical career I do this every single day and you want to practice it very slow okay so that way your fingers can get strong and your muscles in your fingers can get strong your muscle memory remembers uh, each note it's playing it, and it's just an essential exercise to really feel that control over the instrument now just something else I want to mention here to keep in mind while you're doing this a conceptual something to think about is a lot of people when I, I see a lot of young students play or just beginners and they 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 play like they hold the the pearl like this right where they're just their finger is just on the edge of the outside of the pearl when you're doing that it really doesn't allow for a lot of control I mean think about it the 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 further you go into your finger the, more, the stronger it becomes, so that the most outer digit, or whatever it's called, you know, this part is the weakest part of the finger, and then as you move in it gets stronger. So why would you play with that part of the finger? So what I always tell people is to, to bring it in a little bit, to bring it, to not play here, but to bring it in, you know? Now that takes a little bit getting used to, but once you can get it, I usually keep my, the pearl, I feel the pearl under the first uh, wrinkle, um, the first crease in my finger. That's where I usually feel it. And by putting the by putting it there, you get a lot more uh, strength and control. Um, cool. So then next, what I want to show is just one more exercise, another one using the chromatic scale, which is where we play the chromatic scale from the bottom to the top, the same note. So say we were to start on low F, okay, which is D on the alto saxophone, 
Um, right? So, or if you're playing tenor saxophone, you would be starting on uh, C, concert C, which would be low D. So we want to get the one, one, two, three, one, two, three up. Okay, so what we're going to do, start there and then play chromatic, low, uh, starting on low concert F, chromatically all the way up to side D, you know, concert F. Um, and what we're going to do is you're going to practice that you're gonna, the rhythm you're going to play the chromatic scale in is a triplet. So, do 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 do. So, really slow. Ooh, almost ran out of breath. Breathe where you need to. Stop and breathe. And then do it up, uh, 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 do it up again, another half step. So this time we're starting a concert F sharp. And uh, another good thing to do with this is use a metronome to have a click, you know, to keep you in time. So um, those are just some really simple exercises to help with uh, getting um, your fingers stronger, maintaining uh, faster technique and better technique so you can play and get all the ideas out there that you want. So thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you got something out of it and please subscribe. I have so many more videos coming to help you out to make you the better musician that you want to be. Thank you again and I'll see you soon.